Yeah, so um, we actually had um, a man, Joe Doggenbaugh, come in a few months ago and show us some of his work. He's a wood carver that um, just does it for fun. It's one of his hobbies, um, but he was really very, very skilled. And so the idea first came of, wow, we should really get this guy in a show. You know, the public needs mm -hmm. to see his work. Um, I don't think he's ever sold anything, and he certainly has not had his work exhibited um, in a professional gallery. So that's kind of where it started, and we started thinking, okay, he's a wood artist, or I think about wood. And for me, it kind of um, brought to my mind uh, more of a focus on the materials that he was working with, and so that's where the concept came for a show on materiality, to get people to really not just look at the content of an image, you know, what is it, it's a man, it's a tree or a building, but how is it made? And um, to get people to focus on the fact that all artwork um, must take some kind of form. Mm -hmm. So we first started with the idea of materials and wood, and then we kind of added to that, we said, how about metal, how about glass, how about clay? So um, once we started doing that, we had a concept for the show, and we um, have a gallery committee that comes together and um, everybody's you know, well connected with their own friends and artists and groups and things like that. And um, you know, based on the committee, we were able to put together a show with 11 artists. Um, there are some artists from San Benito County. We have an artist from Santa Cruz County, um, from Morgan Hill. So um, we're kind of broadening out in the region. Um, so it's diverse in the work, the actual work that's in the show. The age range is probably somewhere between you know, 20s to 80 years old. So we have some very young and emerging artists. We have some more, uh, some older and more established artists. Um, we have everything with the woodwork, the, you know, the wood sculptor that I was talking about um, is very inspired from European traditions. He does um, some work in these small um, collectives out in the Bavarian Alps. Um, one of our potters, on the other hand, um, from Santa Cruz, has a lot of Japanese-inspired influences. Um, so, you know, the, the inspiration and influence is also very diverse. Um, some of the artwork is very refined. We have Sylvia Nichols, who's, you know, well-known here in San Benito County, um, with some woodcut prints. So she's working originally from wood, and then it is transferred onto a two-dimensional form. Um, and then we have some very industrial objects, which are these really unique um, metal sculptures done by um, Paul Lockridge from Morgan Hill, where he uses found and recycled um, metal objects and creates these really quirky sculptures and figures and, and things like that. So um, there's a wide range of, of you know, objects in the show, some of it you know, more on the high art end, some on kind of the more craft end, um, but there is something for everybody and it's a nice way to really think about the artwork and expand your idea of what constitutes art. Friday. Yes, so the art reception is this Friday, February 1st. It corresponds with our first Friday events that we're, we're holding monthly here at the gallery. It's 6 to 8 p.m. and everyone is welcome. We always have food and drink and music and um, it's just a nice time to come down and socialize and network and um, see the gallery in all its splendor.